MRC unit, the Gambia, is part of the entire MRC UK. Uh, it has been in existence for over 60 years now, and it has mainly been dealing with infectious diseases. One thing unique about MRC is that they have the ability to combine both field medicine, bedside medicine, and laboratory medicine together. So the study I am undertaking fits squarely to what MRC is all about. Pneumococci happen to be the organisms that cause the commonest infection, particularly in children under five years of age. But the dangerous ones are the pneumonia, which is infection of the lungs, then infection of the blood, which is referred to as septicemia, and from the blood it can also get to the brain to cause meningitis. In view of the high death rate associated with these invasive pneumococcal diseases, as it's usually said, prevention is better than cure. I think Martin is really very special in that he's one of the few African scientists who can really link work in the clinic, the laboratory and the field. And he's a very good paediatrician, he's a very good immunologist, and he's shown that he can run really complicated field trials, both at the day-to-day -day level and also running networks. And so he is a really a very broad-based and very accomplished scientist. And one thing that is special about the pneumococcus is that there are over 90 types, called serotypes, and each of them is capable of causing disease. And uh, the vaccines that are available are currently not able to cover the, the whole of the 90 types. Yeah. The maximum we have now is covers 13. My hypothesis is that when a newborn, a child is born, he is not colonized. And that is likely a function of what the mother has passed onto the child, as well as the exposure the child has had. The pneumococcus organism is usually carried as a normal commensal in the nose, in the nostrils, at the back of the nostrils. It's from the back of the nostrils that when it invades the body, then it causes disease. So in a way, the rate at which people carry the organism in the nose correlates with the amount of the disease in that community. So this is Fajikunda Health Center. This is where we intend to recruit women and children and take samples from those children within the first two months of life. And we take blood from them as well as samples from the back of the nose to identify whether they carry pneumococcus. And this will allow us to identify which level of antibodies against those protein antigens that protect the children against carriage of the bug at the back of the nose. This information will guide people producing vaccines to know what that vaccine ought to be achieving for it to be a potential candidate to prevent against pneumococcal diseases. I might say in the Gambia, within the Gambian setting or within Africa is exemplary, but we still needs to be recognized a little bit more worldwide in, in the research that we do. And this will, in a way, sort of throw more light to the entire world that research in the Gambia is up to any standard in the world. And, you know, we, for, for us young scientists developing under Dr. Otter, it will serve as an inspiration for us to work extra harder and try to follow his footsteps. I mean, his standing in his field is such that he is an honorary senior lecturer here with us at the London School of Hygiene and Tropical Medicine. And he is certainly within the TB field, he is a very much a sought after partner because we know that Martin delivers. We know that he can do what he says he will do. And we know that he just contributes so much to the studies. Music